Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back. Now let us continue with the Informatica scenario that we left uh, half away in the previous tutorial. So my requirement was where uh, the so from the source file, the header should be going to one target and then the contents that the value should be going to the second target and finally footer should be going to the third target. So here is the half done mapping. So now let us continue. Now the aggregator and the expression is ready. Let me just change the aggregator, uh, the count name, because count uh, feel that count is I think that's a keyword where you can say you'll be giving this count of field one and all. So let me just change it. No need of any confusions over here. Just I'll say count one. Okay. So now what you need to do is uh, you need to make use of a joiner where you can join this aggregator and expression based on uh, the condition of count 1 and this O sequence the so let me use this joiner so in the joiner first um, need to I will just drag all this um, the more number of columns because this would be the detail one and the lesser column will be the count so just uh, remember that whenever you are dragging uh, the detail and master make sure that the master will have less number of columns compared to the detail one because the master uh, source type is going to be cached whenever we are going to join and uh, you know make use of some conditions and when we need the output so make sure this uh, outer this is going to be th there's just one column so i'm going to make this as a master oh my god uh, sorry we have yeah we didn't get the link let me do it from the beginning so first uh, take the joiner so in order to avoid the previous um, error that's uh, that that's that the whatever the the pipeline was not uh, the link was not visible so that what you need to do is then you go to properties and make sure the sorted input is checked okay just say apply it's okay say yes okay now uh, drag all the columns that you need that you want so detail is dragged now let me drag this yeah you can see that the link is created for the master tool so make sure that just the, the properties just check the sorted input okay so now the join input join type sorry is going to be a master auto join and the condition is going to be the column 1 is compared with the O underscore sequence okay just apply say ok that's it the joiner uh, transformation is ready so now the next what I need to do is now once uh, the columns are joined I need to make use of a router where I can root the whatever the requirement based on some condition so let me take the router here is the router transformation so let me drag the entire columns to the router so here in the router you need to create some two groups say this be an header and let this be the footer okay now for the header uh, you need to give a condition in such a way only the first record that's the column names the id and the whatever was there the column names will go to the target for that what you need to do is just say o underscore sequence should be equal to one when you say o underscore sequence it, the when you say one it will fetch only the first record so just validate and say ok in the footer mm, you need to give the condition in such a way where um, last the footer the last uh, row will be fetched and sent to the third target so for that you need to say o underscore sequence should be equal to count of one so the count of one will have the count of id i hope you remember whatever we did in the expression transformation sorry the aggregator transformation where we said count of id which will have the number of records that the uh, the number of rec uh, number of uh, records that's there in the id column that's what the count one uh, column will have sorry the variable will have so here own underscore sequence means it will have it, it indicates the last value okay 
just validate this and say ok apply ok now what happens is here in the groups we've created two groups where the header should be the first column or the first row sorry the first row will go to the first target and the footer that's the third target which will go to the, uh, the this value is given and it will the last row will go to this third target the remaining that's nothing but the values in between will be in the default one so it's the speciality of the router transformation wherever whenever the uh, the con some the records which doesn't meet the condition then it goes and sits in this default one group okay whereas when we use filter we can uh, only you know give one condition and if that records doesn't meet the condition then those records will be blocked it will not uh, you know the it doesn't get uh, stored separately whereas the router will not do like that it will whenever these two conditions are net not uh, met by the records then those records will go and be in this default one group so in the next tutorial uh, or else in now after a few tutorials we'll see the difference between the router and filter also okay just say okay now the final step is nothing but where um, we need to drag the columns to the respective targets so here the header will be to the first target and the footer is going to be the third target and uh, the default is going to be the middle target just save the mapping so mapping is valid so that's it just uh, uh, create a session for this and make sure in the session uh, you give the source flat file path and the name and the as well as where you want the target to be those path and all and uh, we can we'll just try to run this uh, in, the, in the next tutorial so hope uh, this tutorial was useful just uh, stay tuned till the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.